Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the second part of this video on the grammar topic Make it interrogative. In this video, we shall see how to form an interrogative sentence when the helping verb or modal verb is not present. But friends, let's not forget the most basic rule. That is, if the sentence is affirmative, then the interrogative sentence or the question that we form is negative. And if the sentence is negative, then the interrogative sentence or the question that we form is affirmative. The second most important thing is the format of our interrogative sentence. The format of the sentence is auxiliary verb followed by the subject, followed by the main verb, then the remaining part of the sentence and the question mark at the end. If our sentence is in the past tense, and if the helping verb is not given, then we can assume did as the helping verb or auxiliary verb. And if the sentence is in present tense, and if the verb in the sentence ends with s, es or ies, then we have to assume does. But otherwise, otherwise means if the verb does not end with s, es or ies, then we have to assume do. Let's do some examples. They worked together unitedly. The verb worked shows that the sentence is in past tense. So we have to assume did. Sentence is affirmative. So therefore our interrogative answer that is question will be negative. So did will become didn't. Followed by the subject. The subject here is they. Then we have to write the main verb. Now, worked. We have already written the past tense of it. So we will have to write the root verb of worked. The root verb of worked is work. And then we have to copy the remaining part of the sentence as it is. That is together, unitedly followed by a question mark. So, therefore, our interrogative answer is didn't they work together unitedly? We cleaned the place very quickly. Cleaned is the verb and the verb is in past tense, which means the sentence is in past tense. So, we will assume did. Sentence is affirmative. So, therefore, our interrogative answer will be negative. So, we will write didn't. The subject is we. So we'll write we. We have already used didn't. Therefore, we will use the root verb of cleaned. That is clean. C-L-E-A-N. Clean. And the remaining part, we have to copy the same. The place very quickly. Followed by a question mark at the end. So our interrogative answer is, didn't we clean the place very quickly? He studies regularly. Studies. The verb studies shows that the sentence is in present tense. And the verb is ending with IES. So we have to assume does. Sentence is affirmative. So we will begin with doesn't. Followed by the subject, that is the subject is he. We have already used doesn't. So therefore, we'll use the root verb of studies. That is study, S-T-U-D-Y, study. Remaining thing, we have to copy the same. That is regularly, followed by a question mark. Doesn't he study regularly? Next, she goes to school daily by bus. The verb goes so shows that the sentence is in present tense and it is ending with ES. So we have to assume does as the helping verb. Sentence is affirmative. So therefore, our interrogative answer will begin with doesn't. That is, it will become negative. Followed by the verb that is she. We have already used doesn't. So therefore, we'll use the root verb of goes. That is go. And 
the remaining part we will copy the same that is to school daily by bus followed by a question mark at the end doesn't she go to school daily by bus we plan for a better future plan is the verb over here which means sentence is in present tense and the verb is not ending with s i e s or e s so we have to assume do sentence is affirmative so therefore our interrogative answer will be negative so we will say don't do will become don't followed by the subject that is v the main verb that is root verb will also be the same that is plan remaining part we have to copy the same that is for a better future followed by a question mark at the end so this is our interrogative answer don't we plan for a better future so friends this was the second part of the video on make it interrogative hope this video is helpful to you do like share and subscribe thank you